Welcome back everybody. It is time for set number two here in group A of the round of 16. We are moving on to Zoraki versus True Touch on Polaris, Polaris Rhapsody once again. It's going to be a ZVZ. Yep, a little bit of uh, short and sweet ZVZ action. Um, these guys should be fairly evenly matched, but I, I, would, I think that True Touch probably has the upper hand. He just, Absolutely. Um, Definitely, to my mind, he he generally is one one of the top players. And Zoraki, as we've said before, is kind of more more of a fringe player. Um, but it's always possible for some kind of coup to happen in ZVZ. You never quite know if it's going to turn around. But um, bear in mind that the winner of this match is going to go on to face Ziki in a ZVZ. So they're going to have to bring their A game. Whoever wins this match needs to win it convincingly yeah. um, to show that they have the stuff to go further. It's quite funny. So, you know, True Touch, I would definitely put on level above Zoraki normally. But, yeah. um, you know, he did surprisingly lose to Bakryu uh, twice last season of TLS uh, in the round of 24 and got knocked out very early there. Um, and Zoraki, on the other hand, uh, I know has been preparing quite a bit for this match. Although, interestingly, I believe he, uh, when he, when he played the group, he said he misread the group and thought he'd be playing Ziki first. So he actually prepared a lot for Ziki. Um, as opposed to True Touch. No now, you know, thing, you might say, well, you know, it's all ZVZ, right? But, you know, there are going to be some slight subtleties, you know, in the player's play style and what opening build orders they tend to do. Uh, mm -hmm. As I mentioned last game, Siki really likes his overpool. Uh, I'm not really sure what True Touch tends to go for, so it'll be interesting to see what Zoraki can do here. But uh, mm -hmm. I think I think Zoraki also has the additional motivation, which is that um, when he, uh, in the round of 24, when he took out, oh, who was it? Some Zerg. Um, let's have a look-see. Was it Michael? Yeah, when he took out Michael uh, in the losers match, um, they basically had set up like a perfect situation to go to high level ZVZ. Like they were both yeah. on free hatches, and you know it was like no. no major action in the early game. And then Zoraki just completely killed it and just owned Michael with Zerglings. And I was very sad. And I told and I said I would no longer be Zoraki's friend unless <sighs> he could beat Ziki later on in the tournament. So now this well... is his chance. Zoraki wants to be my friend again, so he's gonna have to beat Ziki to do it same yeah there's a lot on the line for Zoraki there I think is. it's fair to say that at this point so it's good to hear he's been practicing because yeah he's gonna need it um as are both of these guys and I I honestly <laughs> expect they'll probably be meeting again as well um, so so let's see all right game number two then here we go let's do it Alright, and at the bottom right position as the blue Zerg, we will have True Touch. His opponent, top left position as the white Zerg, will be Sass Zoraki. Yes, here we are, the battleground. Polaris Rhapsody is kind of a, an interesting map. When was it in its heyday? That is an excellent question. Let me. Man, I, I even have the picture of it open from TLPD. Yeah. Because uh, I just wanted to, like, check what it looks like um well i actually played a game in clan league earlier on it and that's the first time i've ever played this map it's, it's kind of cool map all right let's have a look here it was used in gambit's cup actually so i did i didn't know what it looked like the pro the reason i had to double check the actual map uh the like layout is because the picture on liquipedia is out of date it only it doesn't have the double gas spaces so it's yeah. like really confusing <laughs> But uh, yeah, apparently it was uh, in 2010, so April through September of 2010. Okay. Um, so not that old. So it's, yeah, that's really not too old at all. Um, yeah, because it's, it's, it's kind of an interesting map. You get um, you get those... Wait a minute. Why? This, this drone did like a thing yeah, I don't quite know. Side. What the hell? What that drone is doing? It's a little bit strange. Is he doing like... He wants to avoid the Overlord, no doubt. Oh my god, he's proxy hatching! No! Soraki, <laughs> no! You are not doing that! There is no way! He's proxy 12 hatching in his opponent's base. This is the build that somebody did to Hyuk. Who was it? Was it was it Zero? 
It might have been Zero. I think Zero did this to Hyuk, or maybe it was S2. He did this to some SKT Zerg on uh, on match point, where he proxy hatched in the main and just did a Ling all in, and it was beautiful. Zoraki, I think he's got this. Truna has no <laughs> idea what's going on. He's just gone for a 12 pool. <laughs> Oh my god, nice to know that he prepared for Ziki. If I was going to play Ziki ZVD, this is totally what I do. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is amazing. Holy shit. It's a two-player map, and of course, there's a large area at the top. You see, the ramp here is close to the main, so like, it, there's no way any ground units will go up to the top right here, and even overlords wouldn't go up here. There's like a perfect location yeah, in the perfect. main. This is the map to proxy hatch. This is it. This is... <laughs> this is meant to be. Zoraki is going to be in complete secrecy. There is no way that this is going to be scouted. It just isn't going to happen. You don't scout the back of your base in ZVZ. You Dude, do not. Even if Zoraki doesn't beat Ziki, I'm already friends with him again. This is <laughs> this has um, redeemed him for not giving us high level against Michael. This is beautiful. Uh, sell your friendship. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> To, would you ever not be friends with the Zerg who did this? <laughs> well, did he do it to me? Wait, why is he going lair though? Uh, I don't know. What he is making he links. Uh, it seems like he's not really interested in doing an all-in with his proxy hat. How can this not be an all-in though? What? <laughs> he's not, what do you mean he's not doing an all-in again? What are you talking about? How can well, this not be all-in? <laughs> well, it's not. He's going lair. He's not. How? He's going, but, 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 I don't but know how? why. If you can't transition anything. off a of proxy hatchery, <laughs> and the creep is going to get spotted soon. It's a fake out. Surely it's a fake out in case the overlord gets in there. Yeah, the creep is going to be spotted momentarily. The creep... Actually, no, the creep isn't going to get spotted. Fortunately, Ling's actually have very short sight range. Yeah, I, I know exactly where the sight range ends. And I think the creep actually is unspottable if the, Ling, <laughs> if the Ling's just keep going out on their standard path. This is amazing. Is he going to make a drone, though, and, and do an over sunken attacking action? Well, I... I don't see how this is going to work because Truta is going to have way more lings here because he's making them off two hatches compared to the one hatch of Zoraki and because he sees like nothing really going on in Zoraki's base he's going to be a little bit confused here. If I was True Touch, I'd be really confused. You can see he's sending out one link. He's going to start yeah. checking for hit. He's actually sending out two links to check for <laughs> hidden expansions. He, think it's, uh, he thinks Zoraki might have actually taken one of the double gases as a hidden base to try and get a leg off that way. Uh, like yeah. what the hell is Zoraki's game plan here? This is crazy, but look at that spy positioning from True Touch. That's really, really nice spy position. That's going to be so hard to snipe for those links. Really, really hard. Because there's so little surface area where you can hit it. Um, so that could be an interesting little bit of a uh, little bit of a break for True Touch. Wait, is he... Is he going to, like, wait for True yeah. Touch to start saving Larva for the Mutas and then go or something? Because, look, his, by moving out with these links at the front, the Overlord saw it. It forced all of the Larva to become links. Interesting. So he's he's doing like a double pronged ling all in. He's gonna like hit from the front of the back, I guess. I'm. Oh, uh, oh, and the ling numbers are actually hidden. Okay, this oh. is it. He's going now. He's gonna get a weird angle here from the inside. I think it might be good though. Doesn't have enough lings. The sunken My is in dude. trouble. But True Touch can he produce oh, no. enough lings? He's breaking through, but I don't think it's enough. It's gonna be really close. He's gonna have almost instant reinforcements at least. But it looks like it's almost an equal exchange here. And now True Dutch obviously knows what's going on here with the Lings oh, yeah. in the base. I do not think that was quite enough for Zoraki here. He is committed oh. to the Ling all in. You kill drone right there. One shutting Lings like a boss. What a badass drone that is. But yeah, he's completely committed to it now. He has to keep making Zerglings. Uh, True Dutch showing no, um, uh, no, no inclination towards Wait, going dealing does, with the Why hatch. is True Dutch not going to see the hatchery? I Surely don't know he knows he about it. Are. Did, did he just take his eye off it for a second and assume run by? Because now that... he knows. He's got to know now. The lings are going in. True Touch did not see this coming for some reason. The Mutalus is now out. This is crazy. And we we have Mutas coming in from Zoraki now as well. A couple of drones going down. I don't know if this is enough though. It hasn't done too much damage. We have a drone or two going down in the natural. And the hatchery might go down there as well. Only two Mutas to deal with those links. If you spread the links a little bit better, then they might just get a hatchery. Um, there's a couple of links out on the peripheral just kind of hanging about. He will not get the hatchery. This is not a great position for Zoraki. Yeah, or True Touch now obviously knows about the hatchery. He's going over to take care of these. Oh man, Zoraki should not have pulled his links away so far. If he'd left them near the natural, he could maybe run in again to try and snipe it. And Zoraki pulled an overlord at the hatchery. Why the hell? Oh, he pulled an the overlord there. Free. Is... The natural's open. He can go for the natural. Zoraki, where did he get the natural? Why is he running in? What's I he doing? 
I guess he feels like he doesn't have enough DPS to actually take it down, but that is a big one there. You're right. Oh, he does get one drone at least. But what is what is Kudu's drone count? He's got four on minerals, three on the gas. I mean, Soraki, he's got like two more drones, three more drones than his opponent, and he's got Mutas out as well. The funny thing is, it's like he's actually transitioned. Oh god, the Sturge! Oh my god, Soraki, are you paying attention? Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, oh, they stopped! <laughs> They're not even stacked! Oh god, and the hatchery's dead. What? Oh, oh god. Oh wow, nice. Wow, nice. Only takes one hit. Even though he has three yeah. mutas. That's good. Not bad, but um, yeah, not not looking great right here. Zaraki now is supply blocked, given that the hatchery has gone down. And uh, yeah, he's had to make support colonies as well. Why did he bother with the transition, I wonder? It's really, really weird. Really that, that build should just be a Ling all in. You should. I don't yeah. think you should ever go there when you're doing like, that. Why? Why would you hedge your bets when that leads to you losing instead of winning? Yeah, I mean that's it's just really weird. I, I don't really understand what Taraki's plan here was. And True Touch somehow is magic and knows that the Mutas are on the left side. Look at this. He's intercepting already. Oh wait, no. Oh, oh, oh. He's got them on patrol. Uh, Zaraki, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna move forward? Not looking interested, he's just gonna move back. Both these guys are playing some serious psychic mind games right here. They're scared controlling just out of vision. Very, very nice. And the overlord kind of, it's two overlords kind of wandering down towards the bottom left hand corner. I'm not quite sure what they're up to. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah. I think they might have both been grouped with the mutas at some point. Um, I only imagine so. Or something, so they, they're obviously like the stacking overlords. Um, yeah. But yeah, it looks like some more uh, Mutas and Scourge are coming to join in the fray here. I think Soraki might just be committed here. He's going to have to do some serious damage with this attack. But I mean, he's so far behind his supply. He goes 34 against 25. Looks like he's actually just going to go for some uh, Overlord Snipes here. He's Scourge to deflect. Oh, oh Mutas gets some good hits in. But unfortunately, his own Mutas are now a little bit caught. And oh, oh man, no. I don't see how he's going to micro out of this one. Oh god. Soraki overextending himself, committing to a bad attack here. And that's probably going to be the end for him here. Yeah. GG from Zoraki. True Touch takes it down despite Zoraki's baller opening. Oh man, what a dis! I take it back. I'm not. I'm still not friends with you, Zoraki. I take it back. <laughs> I take it all back. I would only be friends with you if that had worked. Easy come, easy go. What did I say? Ah, uh. <laughs> that was pretty rough for uh, for Zoraki. I, I I don't understand how you can proxy hatch in someone's main and just go for a lair. What was he thinking? That's it's like really he, strange. he went for a, he did do the Ling attack. He like went for a Ling all in while going for Spire. Was it like a fake Spire? No, because he made Mew to I it. I know, but but like I I don't understand. A, a fake that went too far. Ah. <sighs> uh, it, it, it maybe it, like, it was like supposed to be fake, but then he forgot and he did it for real. Yeah. He's like, oh maybe. shit! Whoops. You just have to make friends with him for long enough to ask. It's, dude, what it's like it. it's like when you uh, when you get plus one air weapons instead of range when you're trying to fake out the Terran, and uh, then yeah, you yeah. And you forget about it and you accidentally let it finish. <laughs> and you're just like, oh yeah. shit, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh Zaraki, 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 Zaraki. All right. Well, that means Zaraki will face Freeman in the losers match. True Dutch will face Siki in the winners match in a best of three ZVZ coming up after the break.